All right, here is the video review, of, uh, finally back, uh, of the Mega Man X Full Armor Nindoroid. Uh, I was on sale at GameStop for like half off, so I picked it up the other day because I already had the first one, and we'll show that off. But it's just, just the standard Nindo. It's uh, a little ball joint at the head, posts at the arms and at the biceps and at the wrist. You can pop the fist off and arrange them around. It's got some hinge at the knee, the ball joint up there, I think maybe a ball joint or some sort of swivel up there in the body itself. Uh, and then a ball joint here on the foot as well at the ankle. They're limited in articulation. They're just supposed to be little cutesy versions of the characters. You can see there he is with his buster. Buster gun. He's got his determined face on right now. You can uh, pop his helmet off here. Split that in half, and uh, you can pull this face off and replace it with more of a neutral face if you prefer. Slide that in, plug the front of the helmet back on. It's that easy, and now he's swapped. And um, he also comes with several different arm parts. Uh, he comes with a stand that can plug in to his back to support him in uh, certain poses. Uh, he's pretty stable as it is, but uh, if you just want him to not fall over. Um, there comes And you get some special effects parts, like here's his regular bullets on like a little hinge piece, uh, which you can plug into the front here and uh, kind of rotate around. And this is on a ball joint up here as well to make it look like he's shooting just his little pellet spray of blasters. Um, you can line it up a little bit better so it looks like it's coming right out of his gun. He comes with a couple of other weapon effects parts. Now, one of them is supposed to be a triple blast of like three shrimp, and there's a, this triple piece in the middle. Uh, one, you can see one of the pegs that's supposed to come out of the middle here snapped off. It's super clear, and the force you need to get it in, it's hard to do it. Even holding in the middle, I was being careful, but it's just super easy to snap that clear plastic with the force you need to attach these all into the ball joint. So, uh, unfortunately, I can only do two. I don't know how often I'm going to use this effect anyway. Uh, and you can just plug that. You'd plug this in here, so you'd have this whole thing. Come on, plug in. Kind of floating off with a third piece here in the middle to make it look like a charge shot with a separate base. You could be flying away from him. You, can, you don't have to have it right up against his gun like the smaller bullets. And the other cool thing that it comes with... Uh, he comes with a bunch of different arm pieces. Like, I've stuck his blaster on his regular arm because the piece it came on was a straight... Um, it, was, it was on this arm piece, which doesn't seem to rotate. So when you put this on, it didn't really sit away from his body very well. It was angled in, which is good for when you... Want, like, there's another arm piece that you can put... Uh, you have this, he has this... Oh, pull the whole shoulder off. Uh, has a flat arm piece, so it's angled in, so now he's doing uh, his hand on the weapon pose, which is better for some, some of those charge shot poses, I guess, um, that you can get, so you can do that. Uh, but like I said, a lot of the posability in the arms comes not from hinges, so or from joints so much as swapping out pieces. So there's that arm, and all the hands can come off as well. He's got some little bent arms, if you want to give him... Where'd that shoulder piece go? Arms in a bent position, which you can attach any of the fists to. And what's cool is he even comes with a couple hands. So you got, you got a bent arm for each side, fists, um, and then he's got the straight arms. And what's cool is that he even comes with a couple of fists that you can use. So that arm here. That's the gun arm. No, that's the wrong. That's the wrong hand. Here we go. Okay, so it come as close as I thought. So maybe I need to use a bent arm. No worries. If 
you can have him do his Hadouken, and it comes with uh, Hadouken, which is cool. They didn't have to include it. Like, and that could actually even just work as like a giant blast from his cannon. So if you want to give his cannon armor, just have that as a giant blast, which is probably what I'll do when I display him. But a fun little Mega Man figure here. Put his blaster back on. Oh, come on. There we go. So it looks like he's shooting a giant blue ball. You can bring this back as well. Oh, nope. Or I should rotate it up like this. Bring it a little closer. Well, that does offset the balance. A little bit. So like I said, the stand helps him support him in some poses, but it, does, it isn't really needed. He's got big flat feet um, and is generally pretty solid. And here he is with the original version. So you can see the two of them together. Overall, it's a fun little figure. I, I'm glad I got it. Um, got a lot of transformable stuff coming in in the next few days. Um, we got MMC Colossus is coming in. Uh, their, their Thunder Clash is on the way. Um, a, me a, a Mega Box figure that I'm really looking forward to should be here soon. And uh, so, yeah, so we'll have some stuff to, to look at. It's been a while. It's been a slow couple of weeks, but I've seen some stores are getting... I missed getting the uh, Wave 3 Deluxes for Power of the Primes from some of the online stores, but hopefully those will start showing up soon. I'm looking forward to getting them, uh, and we'll see how it goes. But there it is, the Mega Man X Full Armor and Android that was on sale at GameStop. Fun little collectibles. I don't know. I, I wouldn't be knocking down anybody's door for them. Like I said, they're very limited, uh, but they make fun little display pieces.